Hello, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at NVIDIA Shield, and we're going to be looking at the beta version of uh, Remote Game Stream. While we've been able to use Game Stream in the past to uh, stream uh, PC games from full, full power PCs with GeForce processors inside, uh, today we're going to be looking at that in a remote sort of manner. So, what we've got here is the new user interface. We got the uh, Tegra Zone games right here. That uh, used to be in their own separate app. Now we got them completely uh, intertwined with our games that we have on our device right here. This is stuff installed on the device, as well as PC games. Now these PC games are being run uh, from a PC that we have running uh, remotely. So we're in a different area. This, uh, we're connected to a completely different uh, network, uh, separate from the network that the PC is connected on. So we're in a different, completely different house, a different building, uh, from the PC that we are streaming to. Right down here, I'm going to show you one other thing before we get started. If I go into settings, you'll see we have notifications, we have game stream PCs. You can see the one PC that I'm connected to. And then we can also go into, up here we can go to advanced. In advanced, we have, uh, we can turn this up, uh, off and on for uh, optimization. Inside your gaming PC, you have uh, optimizations with um, the GeForce experience. You can turn that off or on. Usually we'll turn that off, but we're going to keep it on for right now. If you turn it off, it'll be better for uh, this setup. Keeping optimization on is better for the PC itself without uh, NVIDIA Shield streaming it. Now you can see we have two different kinds of streaming qualities uh, setups here. We have Wi-Fi, we also have Ethernet. Ethernet we're not working with right now. We'd be able to connect that through the USB in the back here with the correct dongle, but we're going completely wireless right now. So uh, I'm setting it up to seven, uh, 7 right here. You can go you know, real high with the with the bit rate, uh, but we're going all the way down to seven just to show you how it looks, even when we're really really low. And we got uh, frame rate. You can choose from 30, 60, or auto. We're just going to keep it on auto. Uh, you can adjust those based on what kind of connection you have. We are connected to a fairly nice Wi-Fi network here, so we're going to keep them high and medium up on that sort of thing. Uh, we have a few different choices here. We're actually going to go with Titanfall. It's a popular game right now. It's working on the internet entirely, so we have a whole other connection going on there. And as you can see, we are getting in pretty quickly. Now that little screen there was separate. We were also trying to load something else. Uh, so that shows like kind of the desktop uh, that's, that NVIDIA Shield works with. And then this is the game launching itself. Right here in the middle, you see a little mouse. Uh, to get that out of the way, you can just touch on the screen, move it out of the way like this. Uh, to do additional controls in here while this is starting, uh, you can press the shield button, you hold it down, you can get some uh, different things like gamepad mapper here. You can also do a double tap on the screen to be able to get a keyboard. You can go home and you can quit that way. We're going to go ahead and press back and then we get into Titanfall. I'm going to turn the volume up here a little bit just so you can hear it while we're playing. And keep in mind that this is remote. Up in the corner here you also see these little numbers. This is because I've got fraps working on in the computer, so you can see the uh, frames per second there. That it's not necessarily entirely accurate uh, because we're streaming through this device, but that's how fast it's going on the PC itself. I'm going to go into my classic. And it's loading pretty quick just because a lot of people play attrition. And uh, this connection, by the way, is connecting to the web using Windows Azure uh, software. And then it's you know it's hitting the PC and the PC is streaming back to the web. The web is streaming to us here. So there's several connections going on at once. 